This is Drew with Boomer Music Company, your band and orchestra experts since 1976, and thepodcastingstore.com, the one-stop shop for all things podcasting and remote learning. This is your Weekend Update. Welcome to the Snowpocalypse edition of the Weekend Update for all my fellow Northern Colorado residents. Uh, Hopefully you're all staying safe and warm. So I'm not going to bury the lead on this one. I'm so excited. We were on TV. Nelson Garcia, the education reporter for Nine News Denver, uh, came up to the store with Steve Blott, the executive director of the Bringing Music to Life Instrument Drive, and uh, they recorded a segment at the store, and I even got to be in it too. So here is a clip from that. The pandemic not only closed donation sites, it impacted the entire drive. Financial donations definitely were off last year, and we had to really scramble because instrument repairs are the single greatest expense of the drive. That's how you you really spread the word and get something like that going. It's a really organic thing, and to not have that in-person component uh, could be really potentially devastating. So the Instrument Drive is a really great charity and it's a good cause uh, putting instruments in the hands of kids. So if you've got an instrument that you can donate, bring it by the store or if you're in a position to donate to the uh, repair fund, uh, there's a link to that as well. So uh, thank you so much for considering that. The other thing I want to draw attention to is I've been writing uh, for our e-newsletter, and if you're not subscribed to that, you really should be, and you won't miss any uh, videos, blog posts, or anything like that. Um, I usually write a uh, thought piece uh, for each one of those, and the one for uh, this week's is titled, I Ate the Fish and You Should Too. What does that mean? Well, anyone who knows me knows I'm not a huge fan of seafood, but I found a recipe for a crispy fish sandwich that just looked irresistible. So the the whole crux of the article is about overcoming that mental block and uh, having something really delicious and making it myself and kind of growing uh, by doing and uh, expanding my boundaries. So give that one a look. The other thing that we started doing is what I'm calling Boomer by Request. I'd sent out a a message to some local teachers saying, we're making videos and stuff, what would be most useful for you? And we got some great responses. And one of those was an instructional video showing inexperienced string players, a couple of tips and tricks and things that they can look out for and uh, take care of their instrument. And so here is a clip from that. Let's slip right again. And then there I'm close enough. Now you can just use your fine tuner. Plucking the whole time, making sure that I'm not going over, because again, it's so easy to break a string. And this is why your teacher can be really helpful with this and even show you how to do it at first, because the first time you do it, you're most likely going to break a string. So breaking a string, is that something that's like totally freak out worthy or, uh, you know, is, is it time to quit the viola? <laughs> no, absolutely not. You, it may be scary. It makes a really loud popping. So we're so fortunate at Boomer to have Sarah on staff uh, since she's a string player. Uh, she was an educator and now she's a string tech. So uh, who better to do that than her? And uh, what also came out of that video was a blog post that I did over at the podcasting store. And every time we do a video, not everything goes right. And I was getting really nitpicky on this one. Um, But the blog post lays out all of the challenges of doing uh, a three camera instructional video with two different microphones and the stuff that went you know, good, but it could have been better. And so uh, check out that blog post over there if you're creating video content or doing anything like that for just some thought processes and things like that. I mean, I like to say that I won't live long enough to make all the mistakes myself. So learn from mine if you can. So that's the weekend update. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you at the store. If you enjoyed the weekend update, do me a favor and follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channels, or visit our websites. This is Drew with Boomer Music Company and thepodcastingstore.com. Thanks for listening.